If you ain't got no passport in 2017, you losing, sis. What's going on, y'all? It's time for a conversation about the things that have been trending on Twitter this week. One specific topic was the passport topic. Our girl Amanda Seals from the hit show Insecure made some comments on Twitter. She had some things to say about people who buy Air Jordans and Nike outfits but don't have passports. Now, to make sure that we are clarifying and understanding what she is saying completely, I'm going to read out some of her statements. If you're buying Jordans and Nike suits but you're sleeping on the air mattress, you're losing. If you're buying Jordans and Nike suits, but you don't have a credit card, you're losing. If you're buying Jordans and Nike suits, but you don't know your credit score, you're losing. If you're buying Jordans and Nike suits, but you don't have a passport, you're losing. Girl, she had Twitter shaking up. There were a lot of people that felt like it was a little bit elitist, and a lot of people felt like that she was making comments directly towards black people. Now, not in any of um, Amanda's tweets did she say black people, but we know how things can be construed and constructed and made it seem like that, you know, I'm talking about a specific group, but I'm not gonna necessarily say certain things, but I'm going to add certain things that might be perceived as stereotypes or whatever to talk about a specific group. Now, in my opinion, I do feel like Amanda was talking about black people. Um, those bullets did fly and they did hit, they hit me. I myself do not have a passport. I don't have one. Um, I've been out the country um twice, I probably think three times I've been to Iraq, I've been to Kuwait, I've been to um Ireland just for a second. Um, but I didn't have a passport that was on the you know military's dime. I was in the army for seven years. I deployed to Iraq back in 2010 so uh, I guess you could call it traveling it was paid travel but I've never had a chance to do that and that's because I just don't have the money yet I'm not financial stable as much as I want to be to be able to spend thousands of dollars to go across country now a lot of people were responding to a man and they felt like that she was kind of just shaming she was kind of putting you know kind of putting this thing on black people like girl y'all out here buying all this stuff but you're not investing in yourself now Amanda is one of those people she's like she's very pro everything when it comes to blackness. She's out here educating um, white people about their privilege. She's educating white people in Hollywood about stuff. Amanda is their girl. Like, she is just doing the work. Now, everyone can be a problematic at one point. All of us can say some things that we don't necessarily agree on. And I felt like that was one of the things that Amanda said. Now, I don't think Amanda meant any harm completely. I think that she might have um, did it unconsciously. Like, she didn't know that she did it. Like, she just said something that she felt and people took offense to that. They felt like she was directly uh, targeting the black community. And I felt like she was a little bit, but knowing how Amanda is, I don't think that's what she meant. I think her words were trash and how she used it. Sometimes we have to be careful how we want to go off and say certain things. Even when I'm educating or I'm saying or making comments and stuff, I, instead of saying y'all or you all, I say we. I just had a conversation on Twitter last night about um, stigma. Someone was talking about, you know, the words clean when referring to, you know, not having any STDs or any STIs. I was like, that's stigmatizing and words like clean are just not, it's just, it's very stigmatizing. It's not that. It's not HIV. It's the stigma around you because when you create this, you make people not want to be interested in taking care of themselves or even know where they stand on their status. So I felt like this conversation was all over the place. A couple of people on Twitter were popping off. Personally, I don't think that you can, I think everybody's situations are different. I think that Amanda meant like go out, travel, go out and see the world, get some culture in your life, get some understanding, do that. But she wasn't able to put that, maybe uh, maybe Twitter needs to give her 250, um, 240 characters or whatever to help her be able to get her message across. Now it did come off as elitist, like I just know a lot of individuals who I've been around, uh, people who work in a corporate office and work these, you know, um, which like nice jobs where they make a nice amount of money and some of the things that they do, uh, they kind of make people who don't make any as much money as um, other people, like they make us feel like less than, like I have been in a situation where I have felt like less than because I don't have this and I remember somebody shaming me a couple years ago, well two years ago because I did not have a, a passport. I was just like, girl, I have no need for it because even if I was to go get one, you know, get $200 and get a passport, how much it ever costs. I don't have any plans on going to Dubai. I don't have any plans to go to France or Paris. I don't have any plans because I don't have the money. It's very expensive, girl. I'm trying to make sure that I'm paying bills on time, okay? I'm trying to make sure after all of this mess the last four months that I'm able to pay my bills and keep a roof over my head. Like, that's what I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about culture. I'm concerned about survival. 
that's why Beyonce said working nine to five just to stay alive. Not saying a lot of people um, are working nine to five just to stay alive, but a lot and, and they hate that. Not coming down on people who do work nine to five and work those jobs, but a lot of folks are working jobs and doing stuff. You know, they might be selling some cooch, they might be selling some poon, they might be selling some booty, they might be selling peen. They selling this just to survive to be able to pay bills. So a lot of us might at some point in our lives doing something that we don't like to make sure that we are alive and just living and breathing like shit is expensive as hell and bill collectors and shit will stress you out I will tell you now girl I am shook financially like the last couple of months have been trash but I believe in my creativity and I believe that I'm going to get out of this storm it keeps making me push harder but it is hard I don't give a damn about a passport like it depends like that's I don't like when people say that I have traveled I've done a lot of traveling for the last two years thanks to everything I've been doing with King of Reads com and you know my YouTube channel and the podcast like I've been you know like I've been asked to do certain things I've been asked to go to New York I've been asked to go to Miami I've been asked to go to California I've been asked to go to Texas I've been asked to go to these several places to speak some part like I've been asked to do certain things and even more things are coming but like that doesn't like I haven't had the money or the chance yet to do that in another country yeah but it might be coming it might be coming but to shame people that don't have passports is trash, it's elitist. Like, I, I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm gonna give you a prime example. I'm gonna give you all an example. Not too long ago, I went in, you know, my leasing office and I talked to the, uh, whatever, the manager, I said, I don't have the money to pay the rent this month. Like, I ain't got it, bitch, I ain't got it. Like, I need y'all to work with me, I need some help. I was, like, I had went and made, I had made arrangements to pay. And the woman was looking at my shoes, she was looking at I had on some Jordans, and she was like, you know, Mr. James, you know, you always got on a nice pair of shoes, like, it seemed like that she was shaming me for having on Jordans like I had on Jordans. Those were shoes I bought in fucking February. I bought those shoes in February or March because I don't buy shoes. But she automatically think, you got on $200 pair of shoes, but you're out here asking for an extension on your rent. You damn right I'm asking for an extension on the rent. Girl, bottom line is we're dealing with facts. I've been paying y'all ass for a whole year on time, every day, not asking y'all for shit. Even when y'all didn't have my my hot water working, even when y'all were not having my air working, like I was still paying y'all on time in a timely manner. Like, girl, just because I had this one slip up does not mean you get to judge me based off the clothes I bought while I did have some money. You see how that like sounds like those two hundred dollar shoes I bought been fucking February when I had money. Those two hundred dollars still would not help me with my rent right now considering it's eleven hundred dollars like the twelve it's not going to help me right now like you still gonna tell me this ain't enough right now so and these shoes I bought these were the last pair of shoes I have bought this year I have not done any more clothes shopping since March y'all ass ain't gonna see no new shirts you ain't gonna see no new shit cuz I don't have the money for no damn extra clothes no wardrobe I can give a damn less about some clothes. Like, I haven't even been to Memphis. I haven't even visited my family because it's expensive for me even to go home because I still need to be in an environment where I can work. So I cannot do it. So when I hear people speak and say stuff like that, it irritates me because it's just like, everybody's journey is different and everybody's not going to be in the same place at the same time in the right state of mind. Like, ain't nothing wrong with going to get extensions, child. I do. I'm not going to give all my money to one thing. I had to spend six, almost seven, eight hundred dollars on getting my car fixed not too long ago. Like, I had to spend that money. It was necessary for me to spend that. It was important for me to get my car fixed so I can do the things that I need to do. I had stuff I need to do and I need my car. So when you say, like, when, you, when we have conversations about, you know, you don't have this you ain't doing it now I do think Amanda does have a point when she says you know you got this and you ain't checking your credit but checking your credit does not mean anything you can check your credit but if you ain't making you know reasonable changes you ain't calling these folks and making payments you really ain't doing shit so you can check your credit it really don't mean anything you can own a credit card and max their whole like but I think what she means like girl check your credit know what your credit score is understand what's going on it's important like credit is important I'm not gonna lie to anybody y'all credit is important it is the most important thing I don't care because it saves you so much money like you need to know and own your credit score know it girl go in there and know what your credit score is so you can know huh baby this is on my credit report and this shit is like 10 years old and I need to remove it 
do stuff like that. Now that is important. Credit card, you might not get approved for a credit card, but go get you one of those credit cards you can put money on and they treat it as a credit. I think it's, what is it called? Um, a limited credit card or something? I forgot what it's called. Those have, those help in increase my credit score for like 50, 50 points. Now child, I've been maxing them hoes out because my ass been broke lately, but it is important. But I think when we kind of put these people in the box and like, hey, you got on joys and stuff, but you ain't out here taking care of your business. You don't know what I'm doing with my money. You don't know who gave me. Somebody might have gave me these shoes. That's another thing. Like, we don't know. Somebody might have gifted that to somebody. Like, somebody might say, you know what? I, I, I can't give you this, but I got this for you. Like, you don't understand. So I think we need to be careful, stay in our own lane, and help people when they swerving in their eyes. Like, hey, girl. Let me, you need some help. All right, girl, you put your blink on, sis. What's the tea? So I think shaming folks without passports is trash. I'm going to give you that one because I don't really think that you meant any harm. But, girl, I'm paying attention to it because you was giving me Tiffany off of Insecure. Like, girl, they already writing think pieces and stuff about you. They trying to drag the hell out of you, girl. They're going to try to get your ass for that, honey. But, you know, you doing it. Shout out to you. You doing the work. You've been doing it. But we need to be careful when we have these conversations and we shaming people that don't have the same thing as we have. Like, cause some stuff is just not as important. Like, some people might like shoes more than they like traveling. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. But understanding cultures and understanding different people is important. But you don't necessarily have to travel to do that. It is a good reason to get uh, on hands experience. But sometimes, you know, some people just read it and understand it. But I see what you meant, Amanda. I'm going to give you that one. What do y'all think? I'm interested in this conversation about passport. Do you have a passport? Do you think having a passport is important? Are you using that passport? And are you bragging about the fact that you have a passport? Be careful about some of the things that you say. Now, I know I'm one of those people, like, girl, I was shame somebody with some sun detergent in a minute, girl. That's one of my things. I just don't like sun detergent. I just, I don't. If you, like, use a sun detergent, try your best to go get something else, because, oh, girl, talk to me, and I can get you sit at, like, two, three dollars to get you some game or some Tide or something else, but, um, I can't deal with Miss Sun, and I can't deal with Miss P-Rex. Not because of P-Rex brain is trash, just I hate the, the, the way it sounds. Tell me what y'all think about the passport shaming on Twitter and let me know in the comment section below and I'll talk to you all later on tonight. Bye.